Hi, so if you've already read the Cat Dash disassembly instructions, you should end up with a pile of parts that looks roughly something like this. Um, as a side note, Cat Dash also does sell these little screws uh, in a kit. It's way cheaper than buying them from BMW if yours are gross like these ones are. Um, you can buy the new screws, unless you're like me and you probably can just wire brush them off. Um, so I've got the, this is the light cluster out here, um, the one little uh, socket that you have to take out is over here. Um, and here's the point where you can keep disassembling in order to uh, lubricate your worm gear drive. So <clears throat> to, for illustration purposes, the speedometer side, I've left in two important screws. Uh, there's a large flathead under this seal strip, and then there's another flathead right here. The cat dash instructions tell you to leave those in because you don't need to take them apart to install the new LED cat dash. But for illustration purposes, once you take out these six screws, um, you can simply lift out each cluster as a whole unit. Um, from here, you can get, you can visually inspect the odometer drives. Uh, if you have a fucked up odometer, then there's a good chance that you might be able to see something in here is broken. Now, um, to continue with the illustration, um, I've already loosened up the screws, these two same f large flatheads on the tachometer side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift these out and I can show you that the, uh, the plastic back here, this item will come right off. Now there's the worm drive drive in there and then you've got the, uh, the worm drive on the actual tack and you can lift this out by grasping the sides of this metal carrier and there's your tack in all of its glory. Now I've done some basic lubrication on these before once you get the um, the rattly tack problem and a lot of times that can be caused by two major issues. One, your tachometer cable itself is super worn out and needs to be replaced. The other thing is that uh, a lot of times the grease on these worm gears just dries up. So I like to use white lithium grease. Um, in fact, I actually use this stuff. I use the tube. Um, Fishing Reel Lubricant, it's also, that's what it's sold as a lot of the time. I don't like to use the spray. This is like, and you pl apply that with a little toothpick. You know, take a Q-tip and clean off the old grease if there's any left at all. A um, couple things to note in here. Deep down in there, you'll see a small white plastic part that's held in by these three flathead screws on the back. That's a carrier. It's kind of like a spindle guide. So the top of the metal spindle here, um, I would also clean that off, lubricate that with white lithium grease, lubricate both worm gears. Um, I would also be tempted to drop something like, let's see, what have I got here? I've got some Boshio T9. I've also used this stuff. This is actually for the bicycling industry, but it's basically like similar to Graftech. Um, this is the same stuff I use for lubing, lubing my uh, Speedo cable and tack cable. Um, this is the same kind of thing. Uh, Triflow actually works great too if you've got basic Triflow, which I think I'm actually out of, just the drip kind. Um, I would drop that down under the worm gear onto the spindle drive for the worm gear, um, which is obviously where the drive from your square mount uh, cable drive comes from, right? So down into there, you can see there's a small brass that brass part, obviously that's all part of this assembly. So that's basically it. Um, getting the, uh, the, 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 the backing plate back onto the tack is a two-handed job, so I'm not going to be able to illustrate it with the phone in my hand. But basically what I like to do is have both units out of the housing, in, uh, and then you can sort of start to slot them together. Um, and it helps to be able to actuate the worm drive with a small flathead screwdriver like so and a lot of times you can get them to drop back together um, there are a couple of little locating pins in here that uh, line up with casting holes in the back of the tack uh, and then from there it's just reassembly um, put the two uh, put these two large flatheads in and then reassemble as per the instructions on cat dash